What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Alex. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys exactly how to use Movavi Video Suite. If you want to go ahead and capture and edit videos and all that. So if you guys are excited, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. Let's get this video rolling right after the intro. Okay guys, so this is basically the page where you will land on if you click the first link in the description to the Movavi Video Suite. This is basically a software with multiple functions like within it. And what that means is that this is a suite version. So that means that it contains Movavi Video Editor Plus, the Movavi Screen Recorder and the Movavi Video Converter. So you can edit videos, record your screen and you can convert videos all within this program. And on top of that as well, guys, we have a lot of online courses and stock content for you to check out on the website. Right now we're gonna click on the try free because we're gonna use a trial. But if you want to use a Mac version because you're a Mac user, you can click on I need a Mac version and it will take you straight to the download page for Mac users. Let's just click on try free and then it's going to prompt us the installer. So let me just go ahead and actually install this real quick. Okay, so this is the software if you boot it up right here. So it says edit video, convert video, record computer screen, all that. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna capture and edit some video. Okay, so let's go to edit video and click on new project. Okay, so then we see this box, which is basically like the editor itself. So right here, you can click on add files. So you can just add them to your project. I just inserted the intro of the previous video. And this is basically where it sits in your media bin on the left. So it's really cool that we also have like sounds in it. For example, like an applause. We have like when you make a joke, we have breaking glass, we have beeps, all that. It is really cool that it is just like inserted into the software itself. You don't need to download anything externally we also have like sample videos we have backgrounds everything that you like when you want to create a video so let's go to media bin and let's just drag this one onto our timeline at the bottom okay so now that we have the video in our timeline we can basically hold left control as well to zoom in and as you can see if you want to work a little bit more up close and in detail okay so this works a little bit different than Vegas Pro because in Vegas you would actually press S from split into your timeline to for example like create a cut but what you want to do is you want to just press control B and then basically it is actually just nice and split up and let's say that we want to create a jump cut you can just for example like click on here and then you want to also press control B which is going to create this a certain section then you can press delete on your keyboard and it's going to automatically connect these pieces onto each other so let's just create a jump cut right here press control B I'm going to also delete that part right here and if I zoom in a little bit on the timeline right here you see like this little empty space we're going to also delete that press control b then just press the delete button and then we can see this really nice jump cut effect that's how you create jump cuts and obviously you can just for example like add in sounds it's really simple it works the same just pick a sound that you that you that you think it will fit then just drag it onto the video you can see it right here you can also lower the volume as you can see by just for example like dragging this one down or you can create a fade out like that really really cool you can do that with all all these sound effects we also have music for example like this action movie let's just drag that in as well sounds really really cool you guys know how that works obviously what we can also do is create transitions so right let's say that we want to have a transition between this clip and that clip we can just go to the transitions tab and we can just pick what kind of transition that we like parallax artistic fade a blur a circle so let's just pick the parallax one and let's just drag it onto the clip so right now we can see like how long that transition is you can make that transition shorter everything like that so let's just play it back and let's see what it looks like That looks really, really cool, guys. It is such an easy program to use, just like Vegas Pro. And I think if you download this program, you will actually get the hang of it like, within five minutes because everything just falls into place. Everything is so obvious when it comes to like the timeline and the transition time and like holding left control, zooming in, zooming out and all that. So I'm going to let you guys do the rest because otherwise this video would be 45 minutes long if I'm going to explain every single detail in this software. So the last thing I want to show you, which might be a little bit confusing is let's say 
say that you pick up the program, you ed fully edited your video, and the video is ready for exporting. Then what you want to do is basically select everything in your timeline that you want to render out. And then we're not going to click on file like we would do in Vegas, but we're going to go to the export tab and we're going to click on export video. You can also straightly upload it to YouTube if you want to, or to Google Drive or to Vimeo. So, but let, we want to have like a separate MP4 file for the video first. So let's just click on export video. Then we will see this box and on the left, you basically want to pick your format. I want to have it in MP4. You can just give this a name, for example, like exported video. Then we can just choose a location where you want to save this file to. Then you can also click on the quality. I want the quality to be the highest. The resolution is 1920 by 1080. The duration is 17 seconds because this is just the intro. And the file size is around 9 megabytes, 235. It really depends on like how long your video is. And then you can just click on start. So right now, as you can see, you can also see the elapsed time, how long it needs to take left. It's really, really cool, guys. It only takes like 25 seconds for me to, re to render out a video. That's about 17 seconds long so that's really really cool guys make sure to pick up this program because you're gonna get the hang of it like i've mentioned like within five or ten minutes and let's just wait until this video has finished exporting okay so right here it says the file exported video has been saved successfully open the output folder you can click on okay and then it's going to take you straight to the folder which is going to be right here and we can see the video exported file okay guys so that's all i have for you guys today but i want to mention that they have way more than just transitions and sound effects they also have like titles that you can drag into your timeline. For example, like if you want to create in like this really, really cool presentation, you can just drag it into your timeline and you can just straightly like change up the text, type it in straight away. And that is how to do it, guys. This is how to edit videos with the Movavi Video Suite. Oh, guys, it's really important that you can also get yourself a seven day free trial through the link down in the description. And you can also get a 20% off discount if you use the code SWEET2020 through the link down below. If you have any more questions, make sure to just visit their website to their fact page or just leave a comment down below and we'll be trying to answer as many questions as we get. So that's it. So guys, that's it for this video. I want to thank Movavi for sponsoring this video. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video, obviously very, very soon. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys obviously in my next video.